Valentine's Day is just around the corner. If you're spending it with someone this year, that's great. But perhaps this list of top five Valentine's Day murders will make you wish you were alone. Number five. The horrifying murder and dismemberment of Rashawn Brazil, age 19, took place in Brooklyn in 2005 on Valentine's Day. Brazil was supposed to meet his mother for her Valentine's lunch, but never made it. Pieces of his body were later discovered in trash bags in a subway tunnel leading to the Nostrand Avenue stations. Other parts were gruesomely found in a recycling plant. The NYPD has kept the case open, but to this day, there are no real leads. A documentary regarding this case is in the works by filmmaker Tara King. Number 4. The Carlsbad, California murder of mentally disabled Jodine Serene, age 39, played out like a nightmare for her parents, who saw her killer but didn't realize it until it was too late. On February 14, 2007, Jodine's parents visited her combo, condo and walked in on what seemed to be a man having sex with her in her bedroom. Embarrassed, the parents waited for the couple to emerge from the bedroom, but they never did. Serene was found strangled to death and her perpetrator vanished. The case remains unsolved. Number 3 In 2000, Columbine High School sweethearts Stephanie Hart, age 16, and Nick Kusselman, age 15, were gunned down in Jefferson County, Colorado, at a Subway restaurant on Valentine's Day. No one was caught for this killing that took place in this town. But what makes this story very chilling is this killing took place in the same town as the infamous Columbine School Massacre. And these two high school sweethearts survived the killing just to get gunned down by another man in the same town. Number two. Olympic and Paralympic runner Oscar Pistorius took out his girlfriend. As he claims, he accidentally took out his girlfriend as he believed his home was been broken into. And as she entered his home, he slayed her and killed her. Uh, I'm not really sure what to think about this one. And it doesn't really seem to make much sense to me. Number one. Students Jesse McBain, 19, and Patricia Main, 20, were a young couple out for a walk on Valentine's Day back in 1971. It was to be the final walk either of them would ever take. 13 days after they entered the wooden area in Durham, Orange County, North Carolina, their lifeless bodies would be found. Fully clothed, but covered crudely by leaves, the couples were tied up and had been both been strangled to death. Evidence point and suggest that the killers repeatedly tightened and loosened the ropes around their necks as a form of torture and a way of prolonging the murders. Such an evil act, and sadly, no one to this day has been caught for this crime. That's it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe for future videos and leave a like to show support.